Navigating life as a young person can be challenging, especially when it comes to finances. This video will explore how Universal Credit can be a vital support system for you. Before we get into the details, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. Your interaction helps us reach more people who could benefit from this information. In today's video, we'll break down what Universal Credit is and how it specifically aids young people. We'll explore eligibility, how to apply, and what benefits you might expect. This video is designed to provide clear, actionable information for young people considering or currently receiving Universal Credit. We aim to demystify the process and provide useful tips. Understanding your financial support options is crucial in managing your life transitions. Universal credit can be a tool to help stabilize your financial situation during times of need. Now, let's get into the main content. Universal Credit UC is a social security benefit in the United Kingdom that was designed to simplify the welfare system by replacing six of the existing benefits with a single monthly payment. It is available to individuals who are on a low income or out of work, including young people aged 18 and over. However, there are exceptions where individuals aged 16 to 17 might also be eligible for UC under certain circumstances, such as having a disability, caring responsibilities, or very young children. For young people, understanding UC is essential as it provides financial support that can be crucial during the transition stages of life, such as moving out of parental homes, pursuing education, or starting a career. UC's design is intended to adjust as your circumstances change, which means it can decrease or increase based on your monthly income, ensuring that you always have a safety net. The application process for UC involves several steps. Initially, you must verify your identity online and provide details about your financial situation, including income, savings, and housing situation. This is followed by an interview with a JobCentra Plus advisor, where you might need to agree to a claimant commitment if you're capable of work. This commitment outlines the responsibilities you have to retain your benefits, such as applying for jobs if you are unemployed. One critical aspect of UC for young people is how it encourages employment while still providing support. UC payments taper off as you earn more, rather than stopping abruptly, which means you do not lose all your benefits at once if you start earning. This can make the transition into work smoother and less daunting. Furthermore, UC also includes elements like housing costs, which can help young people afford rent and utilities, a significant concern for many. For those unable to work due to illness, disability, or caregiving responsibilities, UC is structured to provide necessary support without the stringent conditions that apply to job seekers. Managing your UC claim is primarily conducted through an online portal, which allows you to report changes, view payments and more. This digital approach fits well with the lifestyle of most young people who are accustomed to managing aspects of their lives online. However, navigating UC does come with challenges. The initial wait period for the first payment can be up to five weeks, which can be a significant hurdle if you are in immediate need. Although advance payments are available, they eventually have to be repaid, which can affect your ongoing monthly budget. For young people dealing with fluctuating or uncertain income, such as zero-hour contracts or freelance work, UC's monthly assessment period can both be a blessing and a curse. It means that some months you might receive more support when you earn less, but you could also face months where you receive very little support if you had a temporarily high income. In summary, while UC can significantly aid young people in stabilizing their financial situation, it requires careful management and understanding of the system. It is advisable to seek guidance from financial advisors or welfare rights organizations if you find navigating the UC system overwhelming. They can provide personalized advice and help you make the most out of the benefits available to you. Exploring the advantages and disadvantages of Universal Credit UC for young people provides a clearer picture of how this benefit system works. Let's delve into some significant points. 
One major advantage of UC is that it consolidates several benefits into a single payment, simplifying the welfare system. This can make the process of applying for and receiving benefits less confusing for young people who may be dealing with such systems for the first time. On the downside, the five-week wait for the first UC payment can be a significant disadvantage. This delay can be particularly challenging for young people who might not have savings to cover their initial expenses while they wait for their benefits to begin. Another advantage is the flexibility of UC which adjusts based on your earnings. For young people just entering the workforce or working part-time while studying, this can mean better financial support during leaner earning months. However, the fluctuating nature of UC can also be a disadvantage. The monthly assessment period can lead to unpredictable financial support. This unpredictability can make budgeting difficult, especially for those whose incomes vary significantly from month to month. UC also includes specific elements to aid with housing costs, which can be a tremendous help for young people moving into their first home or renting a place while studying. This support can make more housing options accessible to young individuals. A notable disadvantage, however, is the requirement to repay advance payments. These are available to help bridge the gap during the initial waiting period, but since they must be repaid, they can create a cycle of debt for some young people. UC's digital management system is another advantage. It aligns well with how many young people manage other aspects of their lives, allowing them to handle their claims conveniently online. Lastly, the intensity of the claimant commitment can be a disadvantage. This commitment can place pressure on young individuals to seek work or increase hours, which can be challenging during times of study or personal growth. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment, as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to universal credit if you're a young person. Imagine Sarah, a 23-year-old recent graduate in Manchester. After completing her degree, Sarah struggled to find full-time employment in her field and work part-time at a local cafe. Her fluctuating weekly hours made budgeting a challenge. Sarah applied for UC and initially faced financial strain during the five-week wait for her first payment. However, she contacted a local welfare advice service that helped her apply for an advance payment, which she used to cover her essential expenses. By carefully managing her monthly budget and regularly updating her earnings on the UC portal, Sarah was able to stabilize her financial situation. The taper rate of UC meant that as she gradually increased her working hours, her benefits decreased at a manageable pace, preventing sudden financial difficulties. Over time, Sarah found a full-time job and transitioned off UC without facing major financial hurdles. If you're a young person dealing with similar issues, here are some actionable steps to consider. First, ensure that you understand the details of how UC works, especially the changes that occur as your earnings fluctuate. Utilize online resources and local advice services to get a clear picture of your entitlements and responsibilities under UC. It's also wise to apply for an advance payment if you're facing immediate financial need, but remember to factor this repayment into your future budgeting plans. Secondly, make it a habit to report any changes in your circumstances promptly through the UC online portal. This includes changes in income, living arrangements or health status. Staying proactive in managing your UC account can prevent discrepancies and delays that could otherwise worsen your financial situation. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support really helps us reach more people and provide valuable information that can make a difference in their lives. We greatly appreciate it.